An initiative launched a year ago has involved U.S. nonprofits, corporations, and foundations, and has resulted in a thousand schools in over 30 countries to receive safe water, sanitation, and hygiene. I'm here with Andre Tamboro, Water Advocates Project Director for this initiative. Hi, Andre. How are you? Hi, John. Good. Andre, what is the problem with water and sanitation in schools? The big problem is in developing countries, there is over 50% of the schools do not have access to a clean drinking water source, and over 75% of the schools don't have access to any kind of sanitation. And when I'm talking sanitation, I'm talking latrines, toilets, anything like that. And what this really affects is it affects school enrollment, and especially for girls. Girls are carry water for their families without access to clean water. These girls are being staying out of school and they're doing that instead. Secondly, around adolescence, if these girls don't have a safe private place to use the facilities, then they tend to drop out of school. And Andre, what's unique about this initiative? Why, why should Americans care? What's really unique about this initiative is that U.S. schools are really taking an active involvement in it. What's happening is there's this great group called H2O for Life Schools, and what they do is they match a U.S. school with a school in a developing country. The U.S. school gets to learn all about the global water and sanitation crisis, and while they're learning about the problem, they're also fundraising for 50% of the funds to get water and sanitation into the school in a developing country. And what's next? Is a, is a thousand schools really enough? A thousand schools isn't enough. While it was a great target and we did it in a year, there's still thousands and thousands of schools out there that do not have access to water and sanitation. So the momentum is building and we really need to work on that and continue on to get this as universal access to water and sanitation to schools in the developing world. How many schools still don't have access to water? There's probably, you know, there's about a million out there that really don't have access to water and sanitation. So this is still a huge problem that we, we need to tackle. This is an extremely huge problem. Thank you.